Today, Gwen and Norbert, you take the first steps on this wonderful new journey. A journey that brings adventures, challenges, and moments of courage. A journey that I know you step into willingly because of the love and trust that you share. done so good with the planning so today I want you to enjoy it all don't worry it's all going to be perfect perfect because it's our own day rest of our life together starts soon I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle hold your hand and say I do thank you for being who you are an amazing woman that I am so happy and blessed to call my love see you soon Norbs your soon-to-be husband Dear Norby, I can't wait to see you where time will take us. One thing is for sure, I will love you every second, every minute of every day. See you at three. Gigi. Wow. Thank you. 
love for each other, which they publicly express in this ceremony, Gwen and Norbert demonstrate not only their joy in the present, but their commitment to share the future together. This is a time of celebration for all of you who know and love them. Gwen and Norbert would like to thank each of you for being here today. You are an irreplaceable part of their yesterdays and their tomorrows. A marriage needs the support of a community of family and friends who will stand by the couple during hard times and happy times. Today, as your two hearts unite, may God consecrate the love that brings you here. May you build together a lasting home, not of wood and stone and glass, but a mansion made of many rooms, filled with shared experiences and furnished with shared love. And in your house of many rooms, may you remember to keep a place where each of you can grow and share in contemplation and prayer. And from this day forward, may God remain with you always to keep your love eternally young and your faith forever strong. Gwen, I promise to give you the best of myself and to ask of you no more than you can give. I promise to respect you as your own person and to realize that your interests, desires, needs are no less important than my own. I promise to share with you my time, my attention, to bring joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you see through the window of my world into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets, and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face changes in order to keep our relationship alive and exciting. I promise to love you in good times and bad with all I have to give and all I feel inside the only way I know how, completely and forever. Norbert, I love you, you're my best friend. Today, I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to love with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems difficult, when our love is simple and when it requires effort. I promise to cherish you and to always uphold you in highest regard. These things I give you today and all the days of our life. Your flames are separate, yet they feed the same fire. From this day onward, may you bask in the beauty of the light of your love. It is my honor, my joy, and my great delight to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Norbert and Gwen. My sister is 11 years older than me, which is interesting because we're finally at an age where we get to be friends. We have a lot more in common now at the ages of redacted and redacted than we did when I was younger. The one thing that has stuck with us, though, is our shared love of octave singing. Fun fact, I said my very first swear word when my sister convinced me to do Ja Rule's part in J Lo's 2001 hit song, I'm Real. <laughs> if anyone isn't familiar with it, I will happily request it later. Nowadays, we gravitate towards belting 90s pop songs in the car. 
but singing at the top of our lungs, completely unashamed and entirely ourselves, will always be one of my favorite moments to share with you. My big sister, what an absolute joy it is to know you. Your heart is unmatched, and I am so lucky to have such a thoughtful woman like you to look up to. I love you very much. Norbert. <laughs> when Norbert first met my sister, he thought he had the jackpot with a wholesome church going woman. <laughs> At the time, my sister was going through a brief religious phase, which clearly did not stick as we witnessed them wed in this hotel instead of a Catholic church. Despite that initial mix up, I'm so glad you decided to stick around. You lighted my sister's life, and I am so grateful for all of the love, happiness, and support you've given her over the last nine and a half years. It takes a strong man to be able to keep up with the women in our family, and I commend you for your ability to do so with me. Your kindness and sense of humor have been a wonderful addition to all of our lives, and I am especially grateful to have someone in the family who appreciates food and wine before I do. It feels odd to welcome you to our family, because you've already been a part of it for so long, but I am glad that it's your I wish you both nothing but the best this life has to offer. May you continue to grow together, having new experiences and adventures throughout the rest of your years. I hope that each new challenge you face is met with teamwork and compassion, and that your days are filled with endless laughter. I think it's appropriate. So if you're wondering who this clown is, I'm the one that puts up with him whenever Gwen isn't putting up with him. Nine, nine hours a day, five days a week. I don't know if he puts up with me or if I put up with him. It goes both ways. I think it's kind of like being married. <laughs> There's nobody else I would rather work with, but the bar isn't that high around the building where we work, but we'll go with it anyway. We're, no, we're known as Batman and Robin. Don't ask who is who. This guy, uh, he's an absolute joy to be around. His, the way he, the last year preparing for this wedding, the joy in him has been so much fun to see and as it's gotten closer and closer and closer and Gwen turned into a different name two weeks ago he started calling her the bride well I've been through this I said it's still two weeks away it's gonna get a lot worse <laughs> but all she did was try to cut off two of your fingers after she sharpened the knives. She sharpened them so sharp that he had to become a nurse a couple times. So from now on, I suggest you let him sharpen the knives. Good idea? 
But this, this man, um, I know what he's like. He's helped me through some very tough times. He's there for people, and I know he's going to be there for her forever, and just as she is for him. And I wish them all the happiness in the world. But you can see, you don't need to wish them anything. Just look at them. So all the best. who don't know me. My name is Elsie. I'm Gwen's mom. And I couldn't be more happy and proud to officially welcome Norby into our family. Norby, all the nights drinking wine together, sharing meals, and exchanging jokes, you truly inject a loving and positive energy not just into my life, but into my beautiful daughter's Gwen. It makes me so comfortable knowing that she will be taken care of, loved, and cherished, especially knowing how stubborn she can be. <laughs> I'm not the best at public speaking, but speaking from my heart, has always come easy. Gwen, the only day that made me feel as overjoyed as I am today is the day I held you in my arms for the first time. Fast forward to now seeing the beautiful woman you have become Seeing all you've accomplished in life and all the memories we have made, you have a kind heart and have always had a positive and optimistic outlook on life. Gwen and Norby, oh my God, this, I wish you all nothing but the best. I leave you all with this. Marriage is like a roller coaster. There are lots of bumps, Lots of turns, but eventually you'll open your eyes, you'll put your arms up in the air, and enjoy the journey. So please raise your glass to Gwen and Norby. I didn't bring my glass. <laughs> okay. May your love. Be modern enough to survive the times and old fashioned enough to last forever. To the bride and groom. az idő, és megbarátkozott a repülővel. Felült rá, és rögtön az óceán átrepülve a világ másik oldalára repült szerencsét próbálni. Ugye tudod, kiről beszélek? Bizony, te rólad. 
mikor elindultál, a szívem majdnem megszakadt, mert nem tudtam, mi vár rád, nagyon aggódtam. És innentől már én haragudtam a repülőre. Most nyugodt vagyok, mert látom, jó helyre kerültél, és boldog vagy. Találtál új hazát, otthont, szerető családot, és a legfontosabb, egy szerető társat. Anyai, anyai szívemnek nem kell több. Örülök, hogy itt lehetek veletek, és ünnepelet ezt a csodálatos napot. Drága Kben. Már régóta családunkhoz tartozol, ettől a szép naptól már hivatalosan is. Hálás szívvel köszönöm, hogy a Norbi szerető hű társa vagy. Kívánom, hogy ennek a napnak az öröme, szépsége egész életen ám megmaradjon. Kben és Norbert, kedves ifjú pár. A mai nappal új fejezet kezdődik életetekben, most már férj és feleség vagytok. Hosszú vidám, ör, vidámsággal, örömökkel teli házasságot kívánok nektek. Legyetek nagyon boldogok. I first met Gwen at a music class for babies and toddlers. I was there with my daughter Hannah, who's a bridesmaid tonight, and she was there with the cutest toddler named Talia. Talia's mom and brother are here tonight, even though she can't be Aureli and Louis. I noticed Talia and Gwen because they were literally having 10 times more fun than anyone else in the music class. Every week they came in happy, they sang really loud, and danced more than anyone else. And Kim, the singing was off tune. I wasn't going to mention that, but I feel like you gave me permission after your talk. And so what happened is after a couple weeks, I decided that Hannah and I needed to meet these two. So we started to strategically position ourselves closer and closer to Talia and Gwen in that music class. And then one day when I was in that music class, Gwen told me that Aurelie and her family were moving back to France and she was looking for a new employer. And now, here we are 12 years later, and Gwen has been feel filling our house with that infectious joy for more than 12 years. I can't tell you how many times I've been approached by teachers, neighbors, friends, and they say, always say to me, I don't know what's going on with Gwen and your kids, but they are having so much fun. I remember the old days when our kids were a little younger and I would come home to a house full of very, very loud titas, many of whom are here tonight, and happy kids. There was one thing in common every time. It was super loud and they were laughing a lot. I also had this suspicion that right before I got home, it was probably even a lot louder and a little bit more fun than when I walked through the door. And Hannah confirmed that suspicion for me recently where she showed me a video of Bibi, Bibi raise your arm, and Manolin, Manolin raise your arm, and Gwen, and they were having a fierce dance battle to just dance revolution, showing off all their moves. And while they were dancing, the kids were in the background laughing like crazy and videotaping them. So I'm expecting some of those moves on the dance floor tonight. These days, we have a new member of our family, and it's our dog, Booker. And there is no love like the love between Gwen and Booker. I'm sorry, Nervy. Every morning when Gwen arrives at our house, even though they've seen each other just the day before, she opens the door and she squeals in delight to see Booker. And then Booker jumps up, runs around in circles, and waves his tail in pure joy of being reunited with Gwen. So Gwen, this is where I admit that like Taylor Swift, I too am a mastermind. And I knew from that first music class that you would be perfect for our family. So Paul, Jackson, Hannah, come here. Stand up. Don't worry, Norbert, I'm getting to you, I promise. Um, so on behalf of Paul, 
Jackson, Hannah, and Booker who can't be here tonight. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for filling our home with infectious joy for all these years. <laughs> and we could not be happier that you met Norbert. Since the first time I met Norbert, Norbert, I knew he shared your infectious joy and adventurous spirit. And we cannot wait to see all the joy you create together in your life. Thank you. Once upon a time, <laughs> there was this mom by herself with a one-year-old boy. She was totally overwhelmed. And suddenly, a fairy appeared. Her name was Gwen. That was the beginning of the most beautiful love story ever. Gwen took care of my three children as the Canadian Filipino mom. And it was, it was wonderful to see them interacting. And very quickly, Gwen became so much more. From Gwen, I learned a lot. I learned many values. Um, great expectations for life, joy, joyful, and when actually helped me become who I am today, and for that I will be forever grateful. Not only she did that, but she also brought me to her family. So I gained a second family. Elsie, thank you very much for having me at your place many, many times and for having taken care of, of my children as well. So that's Elsie, but what about Kenneth and Kimberly? You were there too, and I feel very close to you all. So that was Gwen. Now, <laughs> let's talk about Norby. I told you I would be very fast and very quick. <laughs> <laughs> so when we moved to France, um, I thought it wouldn't be for that long. But after a couple of years, I felt the urge to send my kids back because I wanted them to still have the Canadian roots with them. So Louis, when he turned 10, like yesterday, uh, he went to visit Gwen and, and Norby. And Norby, you welcomed Louis as if he was your little brother. And he told me so much about you. The laughters, the games, uh, the complicity you had. So even if I hadn't met you at the time, you became very, very close. And for the joy you brought him, thank you very, very much. And I am very pleased as well to meet your family. I'm very happy to see you. So I wish you the best life ever and that would add to this love story. Please raise your glass to celebrate them, the most beautiful persons I've ever met, Gwen and Norby. And that's not over. I told you, we will be quick. That's part three. I just want to say how much I was proud of Gwen and Norby because I met Gwen like I was less than a few months and I, she always took care of me and brings me to Starbucks, to, to her mom's place, we got parties, we got a lot of fun. It's a, she's like a big sister to me and it's, 
to see her happy with Norby, it's so beautiful. And then uh, when I came back in uh, Toronto when I turned 10, I met Norby and we share a lot of good moments like the visit of Toronto Island or things at, the, at your house and a lot of fun and you're a good man and I'm so happy you, you have Gwen for a wife. So I just want to say congratulations and I wish all the best for you. And I had to say one more thing and I'm sorry Norby, but Gwen always told me I was her favorite. So. <laughs>